Hi guys, good to have you all back. I am hoping you have seen yesterday's video. If not, this might seem a little bit confusing, but don't worry guys, I'm going to try to explain. Also linking yesterday's video below, just in case you want to see how this happened. Yeah? Okay, yesterday's video, I wanted to play with my stamp set called Stamp Collector from Mr. Tim Holtz. It's not um, a new release, guys, but I didn't have it yet and I really wanted to have a play with it. So I made some faux um, stamp catalog pages. Yeah, this was actually an idea from Tina Chabi Dabi Duda. I absolutely loved it. Uh, so I made these. I made them into a specific size because today I am going to use them. So what are we doing today? I want to make a post-it stamp album, a small one, yes, where you can have your post-it stamps in or your labels, your bits and bobs, washi stickers, what have you guys. So um, we made these yesterday. Go watch the video. It's a fun one. And uh, we're going to use them today to make a small post stamp album. I'm going to show you uh, what I mean by that. And then I'm going to show you all the supplies that I'm using for today. Poster stamps albums. I have a lot of them in all different sizes. These are the small ones. I find these um, in thrift shops, flea markets, you name it. I, you, can, you can probably order them online. Apparently this is probably uh, a Dutch or European thing because I keep getting a lot of questions from all my friends from the US. How did you make them? I don't make them. I'm not this good. Yeah, uh, they're cute. Yeah, they're small. Uh, you can have your poster stamps in because that's what they're made for. But I also keep my labels in here. Yeah, uh, you can have your stickers in here, bits and bobs, what have you. So I have a gazillion of these in all sorts of sizes. Now, um, people keep asking me, how did you make them? I don't make them. And then the question, can you make one? Well... I am going to try today. I'm going to try today, guys. Now, I have tried to look up a tutorial on how to make this. There are lots of tutorials on how to make ephemera holders. Yes, small buckets where you can keep your ephemera in. So I did take a lot of inspiration from this. But this almost always um, needs a, a, a signature sewn in and then the pockets sewn on. I am not going to do either of those. No, so I'm going to do it a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to totally wing it today, guys. So it's going to be an adventure. I have thought it over, yes. Um, and I think I have a plan. Now, for the supplies that I'm using, I'm using lots. And I'm trying to give you some alternatives in case you don't have the supplies that I have. For the paper, for the paper I'm using cardstock. This is 200 grams. I am using black for this. Yeah, I, I want it to be a little bit heavier. Now, you could go even heavier than this, uh, guys, if you wanted to. But I wouldn't go sort of, uh, you know, lighter on this one. Why? If you look at the po most of the post stamps albums, the pages, yeah, are not just paper. These are very heavy sort of, I don't know, cardboard uh, what have you and most of them are doubled up yeah it's sort of sort of folded over so that's what i'm gonna do uh, but i'm using 200 grams um cardstock in black do any color you want love um but i was thinking this works really really nicely with uh, the images that i've made yeah so that's why i'm using black cardstock but use pink blue green whatever now for the pockets i'm gonna take out this one again if you have the really lovely vintagey ones, the pockets are made from glassine. Yes, it also has the pages in between in glassine. I'm not going to attempt this, guys. No, 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 no. I'm just going to do the glassine pocket. So I need glassine. I am using this. This, These are sort of pages for a ring binder. Uh, made from glassine. They have sort of pockets in them where you can slide in your negatives from cameras from photographs yeah 
we used to have those well you're probably all my age or even a little bit older so you know what i'm talking about yes we used to develop pictures and then you had the negative so i'm using this you probably don't have this if you do yay i want to do another project with this because i have some lovely ideas maybe you have some glassine bags glassine envelopes some other glassine that you could use yeah if not, I have another option. Maybe have an old photo album. Because in most of them, they have some of these glassine pages in between. Yeah? And these are lovely because these have, I'm hoping you can see, sort of a, a, a print on them, a structure. If you have the very old ones, then I'm very jealous. They have sort of a spider web on them. I love those. And mostly they're sort of discolored on the edges. So yeah, this. Now, another option. I'm giving you options, guys. Vellum. You could use vellum. Now, vellum is a much uh, easier produ product to work with in on this project. Because it's way sturdier. It wouldn't rip that fast. And, you know, it's more sort of a modern type of glassine. Now, why am I choosing the glassine? Because of its transparency. This is even doubled up. This is way more transparent than this is. Yeah, and it looks more vintagey. That's why I'm using glassine over vellum. But guys, by all means, use vellum. It's sturdier, more durable, and what have you. If you don't have all of these, yes, I keep going. <laughs> Maybe have some of these mo modern sort of photo photo albums. I had this one, um, and then it has some sort of very thin acetate, but it is sturdy. It's not like from packaging it's more the sturdy acetate and it will glue see it will glue so maybe then you can use some of this wouldn't recommend it though because yeah that's that's going to be flimsy so that's it for papers now we need a base yeah i am not going to make the cover from scratch i'm going to use an existing a small little book this is peter rabbit from beatrix potter it's very small um i have two of them so i can use this one i'm going to take out the book part yeah i'm going to take it out and then use the cover as a base for what we are doing so a small little book any size you want guys any size you want you can have a big book or even smaller whatever now i want to um, make something beautiful on the cover of course but on the spines I don't want there to be paper and I'm not going to cover this with fabric. Normally what I would do is cover this with fabric. I am not going to. I'm going to cover it with paper. But on the spine I want to sort of reinforce it with... Uh, well, you could do lace, but I'm going to do fabric. So I have my big pouch of fabric scraps. And um, yeah, I'm going to use some to put on the spine. Some more items to sort of decorate or mask with <laughs> is uh, I'm using washi washi tape. Yes, very small strips of them. Um, this is from Mr. Holtz. Uh, this is actually one eighth of an inch. Why? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to make pockets, guys, from um, glassine. And I'm going to glue them. You could sew them, but I'm going to glue them. Now, this is um, machine made. So the, you won't see the glue and what have you. However, I'm going to use the glue that we can buy in shops. <laughs> so you're going to see some of the glue. So I want to sort of cover this up with some of the tape. That's why I'm using tape. You don't need it. But I, and I also it's going to be lovely. Then I want to have uh, something on the cover. So um, I have um, a book plate. Yes, I have this. I have lots of these. So I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to attach it with brads. Yes, I'm not going to put screws through here. No, brads. And I have some book corners. I might add book corners. Probably not, but I might. And also, um, yeah, I have this. I have a stamp that says stamp. I'm going to have it in. And it's going to be on the cover of our little stamp book. Yeah. So, I'm going to use this. Now, um, for tools. For tools. Let me show you. First time, I'm showing you my Mr. Tim Holtz big cutter thingy. You know the one. The one that is huge. And the one that is expensive. Now, I have tried it out a, a couple of times. I am happy with it. I have opinions. I have opinions. I'm going to share them with you. So, you need a paper cutter, a paper trimmer. Just, you know, trim your paper. You don't need this. You need scissors, guys. You need scissors. Or a ruler and a knife. I will need a ruler and a knife to sort of gently 
carefully cut the glassine. So you need something that will cut your paper. I am using this. Yeah, I'm still putting it to the test, guys. I'm going to use a scoreboard. It would be handy to have a scoreboard. Yeah, I'm just saying. It would be handy. You don't need a big one, just a small one. Now, for glue. And this is very important, guys, because we are gluing paper to paper. And that's fine. You can use any glue for this. But we're also gluing glassine slash vellum to paper now um i have i am very lucky i have art glitter glue barely art glue for these i recommend this definitely absolutely this is the biggest sort of um uh, most positive thing about barely art is that it glues vellum and glassine perfectly all other glues will leave your vellum glassine a little bit bumpy a little bit bumpy but we have tape to cover up the bumpy if you don't have this it will a uh, glue stick will not work i'm just saying it glue stick will not work but um double-sided tape if you have very small one this is probably one eighth of an inch not even and one eighth of an inch this will also work guys so barely art if you don't have this art glitter if you don't have to have this tape yeah okay now uh, disclaimer guys i have no clue what i'm doing i have an idea but i have not done anything like this so along the way when i come up with any more problems i I'm, i think i have sort of everything under control but i might run into some problems i have macgyver on speed dial so i might take out some other sort of tools or supplies or go in a completely different route uh if, if things go wrong so uh but let's let's hope not okay finally let's start making this lovely little album guys this is not going to be a short video i apologize in advance because i want to explain it very clearly now i've taken out yes the middle part of the book yeah just use my knife cut it out don't cut your spine <laughs> yeah now, this is the size that we need for our pages. This is actually four and one eighth of an inch by five and a half. I already knew this when I made these yesterday. Now, if I put these on, see, it looks lovely. It looks lovely. Now, um, one eighth of an inch is to me like a size that's confusing. So I've decided to have my pages four by five and a half. I made these three and three quarters by five and a quarter so it will be a little bit shorter and a little bit smaller yeah so these are my measurements so the measurements that you are using is the inside of the book that you've got it yeah okay now i need to double this up so let's say this is four i need to double it up is eight but i also need sort of a hinge sort of a hinge on one side yeah and the hinge is going to be a, a probably a quarter inch. Because, let me let me explain. This is an A4 sheet. You probably don't have it. Well, if you have an A4 sheet, sheet, that is lovely. An A4 sheet is eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. So, I have a quarter left. And that is what I'll use. I'll use the quarter. Now, if you're going to do it in your sizes, have at least a quarter inch of a hinge, yeah? A uh, half an inch will also do. So a quarter inch or half an inch. Yeah. And the length is a five and a half. So I'm going to keep the five and a half. So my size will be five and a half by eight and a quarter. Or eight and a half if you want to have a little bit of a longer sort of hinge thingy. Yeah. How many am I going to need? Well, I want to make four pages in here. Yeah. So basically I'm going to need four. Which means I'm going to use two of these sheets. Yeah. So I'm going to cut my pieces. Five and a half by eight and a quarter. I will use my paper trimmer for this. Yeah. I'm going to do that off camera guys. Because you know. That's not very exciting. Okay. Four pieces. I have my four pieces. I'm going to try to explain why I'm making a hinge. I'm going to make a hinge because I want the pages to be sort of a harmonica fold. I'm going to sort of attach them together using sort of a harmonica system. And the hinge will sort of 
act as a hinge. <laughs> so yeah, quarter inch and then eventually I will fold them over. Okay, I'm just going to score all of them at a quarter inch. Now, I would have loved to have this a little bit bigger. Yeah, so if you're not using an A4 sheet but cutting your piece to size, I would recommend to have this at least half an inch. At least half an inch. Yeah, but, you know, my paper is um, eight and a quarter. And um, my book is four. What did you do? What did you do? I moved the paper. You moved it again. Why? Why? That's better. Okay. Let me give you um, some of my thoughts about the Tim Holtz paper trimmer. I like it. I like it. It is fine. Um, it is especially, I think, good if you are doing um, cutting with heavier cardstock and chipboard and what have you. And if you're making cards, because there are all sorts of measurements on them. Um, why do I like it? I like it because I can fold it open and cut my 12 by 12s. That's why I like it. Why don't I like it? There are a couple of things that I don't like. It takes a little bit of getting used to, guys. Um, really, if you're going to cut, you really need to push this against this. Otherwise, it will cut raggedy. It takes some getting used to. Yeah? I love all the measurements. It has centimeters on them. It has millimeters on them. Inches, half inches. I don't use all of these because these are for card sizes. So I really enjoy this. Um... What am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing the string that is on the Fiskars ones. If, you, if you're going to do measuring cutting, this is uh, fantastic. But let's say you have a digital sheet with labels on them. And you want to sort of precisely cut them. Yeah, you, you, I, you can't see. I cannot see where I'm going to precisely cut. That doesn't work for me. So... That is a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. Because this big old thing is just in front of it. And if you're going to look at it from uh, this angle. It's never straight. Or this angle is never straight. So yes. Love it for some proje uh, product, projects. But for other ones I will not use it. Okay. Well that's my opinion. <laughs> um, we have four of these now. Yeah. I'm going to fold them in. Folded all of them, yes, scored them really well. But now we need to fold them in, in half, up until this line. Don't do it like this, guys. Do it the other way around. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. And then fold them in. Move over, piece of paper. Fold them in precisely. All the way to the edge. Yep. Yeah. So on the opposite side. So it will look like sort of this. Like a V. <laughs> a very old fashioned V with, you know, something on it. Pulling it up over. Yeah. Now, hopefully. This is four inches. If not, I have to do it all over again. Exactly four inches. Yes. Yes, I did it right. Yes. Don't glue them yet, guys. No. Four. If you want to have six, seven, eight, or whatever, do more. I'm just going to do four. I think um, that'll work fine with the small spine. It needs to have a small spine, guys. If you have a big spine, this will not work at all. Probably will not work at all. Okay, we have four of them. Now, I'm taking out my lovely bits. My lovely bits. I made 12 yesterday. I picked out four that I'm going to use on the covers, on the, on the inside and on the outside of the cover, yeah? So, four of them. So, I'm left with these. Now, you... I need to sort of glue these on. But before I do this, I want to explain what we are doing with sort of the harmonica, whatever. Um, these are your papers, yes? This is the little sort of hinge. Start with the first one with the hinge on your um, left-hand side, yeah? 
Then take out the next one. I'm just going to sort of show you. The hinge on the left hand side. We are eventually going to glue this. Like so. Does it show? Yeah. So we're going to make a sort of harmonica. So this will be glued here. On the inside. Same with this one. And the last one. Now, as you will notice, the last one doesn't have a hinge on the outside. And we need to have a hinge on the outside. So what did I do? I made another hinge. Yeah. So five and a half inches uh, by uh, a little bit over half an inch. I wanted to have a little bit more room. So we are going to glue this here. So you have another sort of hinge on the outside. I'm hoping this will make sense. Now. I am not gluing these together yet because I also want the um, glass seam to be sort of attached to the inside for more sturdiness. I don't know. This is just my idea. Just my idea. So we're not gluing these together yet. Yeah. However, I am going to glue these on, on the fronts. Now, you could ink them, um, you could round corners, you could do whatever you want. I'm not going to do anything of it. Well, I'm going to do inking maybe a little bit on the edges. Do I? Do I? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to use glue stick, guys. You can use any glue you got. Just do, do, well, do you, do you, you, do you. I need to have a page underneath. Or gluing. There you go. Very important, guys. If you glue your images on, that all your papers are in the right direction. Otherwise, some pages will be upside down. And, you know, we don't want this. <laughs> we do not want upside down. So have them all in the right order. Yes, this is on the outside. There we go. I just want to leave a little bit of room on all sides. Yes, the outside, the inside, the top and the bottom. I have a glue spreader. I do. Now I'm using um, glue sticks so they might warp a little bit. So I'm going to let them dry. I'm just flipping it over. Guys, flipping it over. Putting on the next one. I'm just going to do one on camera, guys. Because you don't need to see me glue everything. Oh, aren't these lovely? They still smell like coffee. <laughs> Someone asked me, can you show me how you coffee dye them? Well, no, because I didn't. I do know how to coffee dye. Yeah, but I really don't enjoy the process. Uh, so I'm not going to make a video about it because... Oh, don't do... Why? 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 Oh, I'm going to have a smudge on it. Uh, so I'm not going to make a video about something that I don't enjoy doing because you'll notice it. <laughs> I cannot pretend. Can we sort of... Oh, yes. If it's dry, we can sort of remove it. There you go. Don't use these pages to glue on. No. Because the ink will smudge. Yeah, no. I got these uh, gifted in Happy Mail. And, um, you know, I sometimes I even buy them. Not enough glue here. So I'm just going to take out a little bit of this. We really need this to be glued down. Way too much glue. Way, way, way too much. But that's okay. It's on there now. It's on there. Okay, guys. Um, be sure with the next one to have it the right side up. Because they need to hinge in each other. So I'm going to do all four of them. They're all glued on. Um, you see, they are sort of warping a little bit. That's okay, lovies. We're going to glue them together eventually. And then going to let them sort of dry underneath a heavy pile of books. Or I'm even going to do it right now. So, well, they look amazing, though. They look really, really cool. You don't need to make a post stamp album out of this. You could just be done. Yeah? You don't need to put anything on. Okay. I'm just going to take out a one. Yeah? I'm going to open it up. What I want... Where's the normal post stamp album thingy? I have a gazillion and now I can find any of them underneath something. 
Okay, they have these strips, lots of them. I'm not going to do lots of them. I'm going to do three of them, yeah? They are, if you're going to look closely at it, they are sort of glued in, yeah, somewhere. And then they have some reinforcement on the on this side. I might do this. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Put some reinforcement here. Um, I want to have three on, yeah? I'm going to make strips of three quarters of an inch. I'm going to have them three quarters of an inch wide and have them over the entire length. Entire length, three of them, yeah. Overlapping a bit here, overlapping a bit here. That's my idea, yeah. I am only gluing the bottom part and then the sides. I'm not gluing here or here, just a, a sort of off, off this page. I'm not going to glue it on the sides on these pages. So you don't see the glue. I want to leave as much sort of non-glue parts <laughs> as possible with the glassine and the vellum because you will see it. Yeah. Now, uh, I need basically need strips that are at least eight and a half inches. Because I want to glue here and then fold this over and glue it on the other side. Does that make any sense? So I'm not doing individual strips. I'm doing it in one piece. In one whole piece. So I need uh, three for each page. I have four of them. So I need 12 strips. 12 strips of eight and a half inches by uh, three quarter inches. Sort of, guys. This is my measurements. Do whatever you wish, wish. Now I'm using this. It is glued here and there. So I'm just going to cut off the glued part first. And uh, now this is old glassine. So I'm using uh, a knife. Not a paper trimmer. Paper trimmer will eat it for sure. Oh, I don't know if Mr. Tim Holtz will eat it. But a uh, normal one will eat it for sure. And then gently. Don't rush it. And be sure that your knife is sharp. See? Otherwise, is it loose now? Or is it still glued? Did I cut it on the glued line? No, here it goes. Here it goes. I have a letter opener. Maybe that will work. Gently, gently, gently. Yeah. See? Okay. Now I need a strip of three quarters of an inch. I am not going to do any precise measuring. I'm just going to eyeball it on my mat. Have it straight. That would be nice. Sort of. A little bit less than an inch. You could do an inch if you want to, love. Yeah. Again, I am gently cutting it. I'm not going to cut all 12 of them. We need 12. Yes, we need 12. There you go. See? Strippies now. The strips are going to be... See? They're sticking out a little bit. And that's what I wanted. So we're going to have... I'm just going to do three. We could do four on this. But I'm just going to do three. Because I want to show as much of the sort of background as possible. So I am cutting 12 of these strippies. Yeah? Now use your vellum. Use your glassine. Use your acetate. Whatever. I have all my strippies. Yeah, I can make more because lots more. This, this because this is double up. Now, if you have smaller strips of glassine, guys, just glue them here. Yeah, make smaller strips if you don't have the the larger strips. Okay, now this is going to be tricky. Um, I am going to glue on the glassine and not on the paper. I'm going to gl uh, put glue all around the bottom. Yes. And around um, um, on the ends, on the edges. So I'm going to glue this here. Yes, on the flappy that we're going to have on the inside. And we're going to flip this over and glue this on the inside as well. But first I'm going to do... I'm just trying this out guys. I'm hoping this will work. But first I'm going to do just the bottom. Now I sort of eyeballed it. Don't put it on the top guys. Otherwise you cannot put anything in again. So... Um, just have it a little bit removed from here and here. You could do some exact measuring. I'm not going to. See how lovely you can still see through the glassine. The, the prints that we um, stamped on here yesterday. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, I do not have a really steady hand. Uh, but you need a steady hand for this. Because we just want a very small strippy. I'm even going to maybe do some dots even. So I'm hoping this will work. So obviously I'm going to do most of this off camera. Because you guys make me nervous. Try to have the strip as small as possible. Otherwise you will see the glue. You will see the glue. I don't want to see the glue. Okay. Very careful. This is tricky because it's sort of, you know, curvy. It's all curvy. I'm going to start out in the middle. I'm also not having it all the way to the bottom, guys. Yeah, this is straight. I'm going to do this. Yep. This is straight. I'm going to do this. She needed to, I needed a little bit more room here, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, loves. Yeah. Next one, I'm going to glue a little bit further. Just going to put some glue here. Yeah. And then I'm going to put glue here. See, this piece is too big and the other piece was too small. Next, next one will be better. See that? Yes, let it dry. It will be less bumpy, I promise you. Because this is barely art and barely art does a great job. Also, I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to use the very small uh, strips of um, tape. The one-eighth of an inch size. If you don't have this, guys, take the smallest tape that you like. Just glue it on your mat. Take your ruler. Yeah, put it on in half. Cut it. Then you have the right size. I'm making funny noises. That's my hand <laughs> on the mat. I am not removing my hand from the mat. This is this is keeping me steady. No, it's not my stomach. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm doing the top one, top one first, guys, because I just want to sort of eyeball where I want to put the middle one later. Okay. Is this straight? Do I have enough? I do. There you go. Do I have enough here? Yes. See, this one went much better. Yeah. If it's not straight, straight. Love. It's going to be fine. It's your first attempt. And uh, perfection comes later. Okay. Some glue here. Some glue here. It's already sort of glued on. But need a bit more. Just want to secure it. Yeah. The pages are going to go like so, guys. Yeah. And now you can put your stamps in. See, this already looks better than this one. I'm going to do the last one as well. Yeah, just checking if the size is okay. Uh, doesn't matter which way, love. Pick a side, any side. Now, if you're going to use glassine, you need to be very careful. You need to be as careful as you would uh, if you use a real vintage uh, poster stamp album, because those are made from glassine and they will break. If you're not careful. I'm just eyeballing it. Yay. Yay much. Over here. Great. I try to sort of keep the, the space in between here the same as here. But that's that's quite a lot. Don't. Don't do this. Yes. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. I am so hoping this will work, guys. Otherwise, it's going to be... How not to make a poster stamp album. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. The only thing I'm... Wor well, I'm, I'm a word, worried about a lot of things. <laughs> Actually, I'm worried about a lot of things. But I am worried that we don't have enough pages 
for the spine well we'll cross that bridge once we get there yeah so now this is gonna go like so fantastic fantastic guys i'm gonna do all uh, four of them yeah and then we're gonna come in with the tape i guess yeah i don't want to jinx it but so far so good okay uh i took out the tapes and these are what are these called trim trims garniture yeah the smaller ones i'm hoping mr tim holtz will make uh, another set of these because i love them love them now i um have taken out three of the blacks and three of these i am not going to use the other the other ones so i'm just going to use this on here and this on here and you know on the other ones okay um i'm taking out a piece of tape i don't think these need extra glue There we go. Starting out in the middle, I want to have a piece of it. This is repositionable, so it will be fine. Um, on the paper and then a piece of it on the glued part. We have enough. Are you being stingy again? Yeah, we have enough. We have enough. That is amazing. It's going to look awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to flip this over. It needs to be a little bit longer here. As usual. <laughs> also, I was a little bit stingy here. Um, another piece. There we go. Do I have enough? Probably do. Let's see. I'm going to start here. Guys, if you have a sewing machine, you could sew this. You could. Yeah. No worries at all. It's lovely. It's uh, fu functional because it will also sort of keep the tape, the glass scene in place. But it's lovely. I just love it. Yeah. Looks really cool. Yeah, normally I'd start from the middle, but start from the beginning, loves. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. I love it. I love it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that with all four pages. Yeah. So I'm going to do with the black and two with this one. All of them are done, guys. I absolutely love them. Now, here's my worry. Yeah. Um, I worry that the hinges that I made... These ones that I'm going to attach here to attach it are a little bit too short or I don't have enough pages. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to start gluing them together. This is going to be my first page. I just decided. I am going to alternate between the black ones and sort of the tan colored ones and then a black one and a tan colored one. Yeah, just alternate them because that's what I like. Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. What we need to do, we need to put glue here. Yes, and then glue this here. Sort of glue these together. Make any sense? I'm hoping it does. Okay, I'm putting glue on the back. On the back. I'm using a barely art for this again, because A, it's good glue. If it wants to come out, yeah. Um, it glues like art glitter glue. It gives you a little bit more wiggle room, and that's what I want. But I want, I really want this to hold really, really well. All the way to the edge. Yeah. Okay. Be sure. It lines up on the top and the bottom and glue it in the fold. Sorry guys, you can't see this. Just be sure it lines up on the top and the bottom and it glues within the fold. 
if I go wrong here, I go wrong. <laughs> the, whole, the whole project is, you know, yeah, rubbish. Okay, I will hold it for a bit. Are we doing it right? Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, yeah. I'm going to flip it over for now. Because this needs to be glued on this one. Eventually. First, I want to line them all up in sort of a long strip. So this one needs to be glued here. Yeah? So... I'm going to put glue on the back. For some reason, I think that works better. Might not. It might not. But, you know, that's what I'm doing. Still so far so good. Shh, don't jinx it. You could also have put glue on this, but not going to. Not going to, not going to. Okay. The top, the bottom, in the fold. Don't move it about, love. Don't move it about. In the fold. Is it in the fold? Yes. Okay. I'm going to hold it for a couple of seconds. They don't line up. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Yes. And then the last one. Now, already told you the last one needs to have another hinge. Yeah. I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes with this. <laughs> because maybe I need to add another one of those at the end. Maybe. Don't think so, but maybe. Just putting glue on. People keep asking me, which is the better glue, uh, Bart or Art? And by that mean Art Glitter Glue or Barely Art Glue. Um, well, I am very happy I have both. Now, normally I'd say Art. I choose Art uh, because I hardly ever work with uh, glassine or vellum. But for this project, yes, definitely. Definitely this. And also, it gives you a little, a couple more seconds of uh, wiggle room. And that is... Oh, I'm sorry, Nick's camera. And that is very, very handy to have. Okay, we have sort of an accordion thingy. Yeah? Before I'm going to fold it, I I'm, I'm really want to let it dry. So I'm going to let it dry for a couple more minutes. I think it's dry enough. And I think it's big enough. Yeah? So I just folded it in. And I'm going to put it in my little cover. Like so. So it's going to look like this. And I think that'll work fantastically. So when you open it up. Yes, this is going to be glued here. And covered. And then the back. We need another hinge. Yeah. So I'm going to glue this hinge in here. I'm not going to add another sort of page. Um, there we go. Come on, love. I just used you a couple of minutes ago. Another thing I don't really like about Barely Art. Well, there's not a lot of things I don't like about Barely Art. But, you know, these are not cheap glues. They will last you a long time, though, uh, guys. I do admit. Um, yes. They are a little bit expensive. Uh, which one did we want? The last one. But they will last you a lifetime. Well, not a lifetime, but a long time. A long time. Am I doing it right? Yes, you're doing it right. <laughs> I was thinking, am I doing this right? Yes, you are. Okay. And then eventually we'll put glue here and put glue here. Yes. And we're going to glue it on these pages. I was thinking, guys, because that's what I do. 
Um, my plan was to glue these pages together. Yeah. You could. What you could also do is just glue on the bottom and then have a large pocket on the top. Yeah. See, I'm going to put them in. Come on, work with me. Yeah, you're going to have large, large uh, pockets on the top. Hmm. I have a little I have a little time to think about this. I'm going to leave this as is, guys, as is for now because first I want to do the cover. Mainly the outside, the inside I'm going to do once we once once need once. <laughs> once we have this glued in, then I'm going to uh, decorate the inside of the cover. Yeah, even though it's lovely, it doesn't really go with this theme. Okay. Phew, well, this worked. Until the next part. Okay, we're doing the cover. I am really happy, guys, because this turned out the way I planned it. The way I planned it. So, yay for this. Now, for the cover. Normally, what I would do with a cover, I cover it with fabric. Uh, why? Because there's sort of a, a, a thingy here, yeah? Like the spine that needs to open and close, open and close. And fabric is, of course... Uh, a flexible material and paper isn't so i'm not going to put paper all over it because this will it always creases and comes loose and what have you so uh what i'm going to do actually is going to put paper on it this is not the black cardstock this is the black paper so this is a little bit lighter how light let me see what's on this block what does it say uh, 120 grams so it is heavier than normal copy paper but just you know paper i'm again using black but use any color that you want um i'm going to fold it open guys i cut it a little bit bigger yes on these three sides because we need to sort of fold it in now i never do it this way so this is my idea uh, i'm going to glue it on the cover leaving a little bit here a little bit here and a little bit on the end I'm going to glue it uh, as much as possible to the edge, but not on the fold thingy, on this, you know, flexible thing. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm going to use Bart again. Yes, because Bart today is my friend. Well, if he wants to come out and play, that is. Okay. Uh, already decided I'm not going to make a closure on this uh, journal. No, it doesn't need to because, well, it's not, a, it's not a journal, it's a stamp album. I don't have closures on my albums. Do you see any closures? No. So, and also we're not going to add a bulk to it. We're going to add post stamps and that's not really bulk now, is it? No. There you go. Bye bye, Peter Rabbit. Okay, a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom. I did not give you measurements. To measure your, your cover, guys. It's the bigger than, than the cover. That's it. Okay. There we go. I'm going to, of course, do the same thing on the back once I'm finished with this part. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to fold it in. I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to fold this over. Like so. Yes. Also on this side. going to fold it over like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold this in. Like so. Now you could do this. Yeah. Fold, but that creates a lot of bulk. So what I actually want to do is take off sort of this um, square. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need lunch. I need lunch, guys. Yeah. And how am I going to do it? I'm going to um, take it off at an angle. I'm hoping this will work. Yeah. Is this enough? Will this work? I'm hoping. I'm hoping, guys. Do I not want this? I'm not going to go all the way this. I am going to go at an angle towards this center. Yes. 
and also on the other side at an angle towards this center. So not really straight. See, it's sort of a, it has a bend in it. Because in this case, did I nick the camera? I'm sorry, guys. See, this happens. Now, I have the tiniest bit of blue sticking out here. Already sort of thought about this. Um, you could add book corners. I'm not adding book corners. I'm adding this. I'm just going to try to put some black on the corner. Oh yeah, that sort of works. That sort of works. Now there's probably a much better way to do this. I normally work with flexible materials, guys, with fabric when I do this and not with paper. Oh yeah, well that worked. That worked. Fantastic. Okay, what am I going to glue in first? The top and the bottom flap. I'm just going to do it. I'm not even going to think about it. Just, just do it. Yes, now I've seen a lot of videos of people doing this and such. Yeah, I, I just cannot get the hang of it with paper. Normally I just stick to fabric. Yeah. And then I'm going to do this one. Yes. Oops, no. No, this is not art. This is Bart. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Hold it. Oh. Yeah. Well, proud of me. Proud of me. Yeah. Also, repeat on the back cover. It worked. Yes, I have both of them. I am I'm very proud of me. Now, the for the fun part. Which one are we going to have on the front? Now, I have chosen this one. And I'm going to... I, you can center it, yes. But I'm going to glue it as much as I can towards this edge. Why? I want to have some fabric here. And the fabric is probably going to overlap this for a little bit i do not want to glue this on the fabric i want the fabric to be glued over it do i yeah yeah so i'm going to probably sort of cover it for a little bit um and that works because there's a little a room here i've been thinking about it guys i am going to ink this um with ground espresso which is the darkest color that i have i i'm not um, distressing with the versafine for this i rather use my distress oxides also i prefer distress oxides compared to distress inks and i cannot really tell you why i just do i just do i for i had forever the color vintage photo in distress ink and i just didn't like it i never used it it was for some reason i don't know too orangey for me or i didn't like it then that completely dried out and in my mind i had to have another one and i accidentally accidentally bought the oxide ones the the gray ones so not the black ones because that's what i usually pick up because i'm not a mixed media artist i don't know the real difference between them people try to explain it to me thank you for explaining it to me still don't get it that's because i don't splatter it with water or what have you because it's gonna grunge it up a little bit so then I bought the vintage photo in oxide and now I love the color. So yeah, I like the colors better. Okay, this is going to go on here. I'm going to use just glue stick for it. We have to pick out a lovely piece of fabric for the spine. Uh, that's upside down. Well, there's nothing in there yet, so there is no upside down at the moment. Okay, as much as close to the edge as possible, but a little bit lower. Open it up. I have more grip that way. 
not all the way to the edge love otherwise it will curl up it will curl up where is my blue spreader thingy there we go is that crooked probably is don't really care no it's fine this is the cover yes lovely shall we do the back as well well um i'm going to do the same thing to the back guys let's see if i have one i'm gonna use this one yeah i'm gonna put this one on the back and these two i'm going to have on the inside of the cover so i'm gonna glue this on and ink it of course it worked and i love it now if you have a book that has a lovely spine yes done but this is blue and says peter rabbit uh so no now so now for a fun part i want to pick out a piece of well i have some scraps of uh fabrics you know me and my fabrics i have loads uh, obviously i'm not gonna go uh pink florals uh so i want some darker colors i could do this this is black with with something let's see could work could work it's gonna do on this oh 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 i might like this a lot i'm gonna do some auditions not this one not happy happy pastelli florally ones unless they have a darker background It is tall enough. I'm going to keep this aside. Um, let's see. Not pink. Ooh, oh, so lovely. Yes. I'm not doing heavy material. This is um, upholstery material. Yeah. They call it Goblin. Ooh, look at this one. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm just going to audition. Always nice. Well, maybe this. Hmm. Hmm. That's too white. Oh, I love this piece. I'm going to hoard it forever. No pastels, please. No. New, new, new. Well, we are covering up the blue. Isn't that lovely? It's silk with... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to do? Are we doing a floral? Already sort of skipping. Oh, that's also lovely. With the, I don't think you're going to see a lot of the little roses, but you, you might see a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Or the green. Sorry, guys. This takes me a while. I'm thinking this. Because I also want to have this on. Where's the book plate? Book plate. Which is sort of this color type of... I'm going to have it here. Not on the top. Just, you know, here. Why not? Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Bye, little piece. Okay, what do I want? I want a, a strippy that is yay high. Can it rip? Yes, it will. I also want to rip it on the top. Will that still work? Because now you snipped off. Small piece. Yes, it does. Oh, this rips nicely. Yeah, and then I want to rip this edge, of course. Yeah, look at all the fraying. And how much do we want? This to go on here. And then I'm eyeballing it, guys. I'm just eyeballing it. And here. This big of a strippy. This was the front. 
here. If you wrap it all around. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how am I going to do this? Oh, the easy way. I'm just going to put glue on this edge here. Yeah. In here. And here. I'm just going to glue it. Now, maybe I use a little bit too much glue. Because it will seep through because it's, this is a little bit thinner material. A little more fraying, please. Yeah. Oh, it works perfectly. It's not really for reinforcing the spine loves. No. It's just to cover up the blue. Be sure to glue it in this sort of crease. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. So how much are we going to over? Oh, perfect. Oh, couldn't be more perfect. Maybe I'm putting on a little bit too much glue here. But I don't know. But it will dry. And there we go. Again. Be sure you glue it in this sort of fold. I'm going to do this first. Yeah. The fabric is smelly. <laughs> yeah, it's vintage. Should have washed it. I'm guessing I need some more glue here. For some reason, this this uh, this doesn't want to glue. Come on, glue. Should have used art. Art would have been done by now. Okay. It's just lovely. I'm going to toy a little bit with the glue, guys, because it's not gluing to my satisfactory. No. No. So, yeah. And then we need to put this one on. I was accusing Bart of not gluing right. Actually, I was using art. I am. Um, my apologies, Bart. My apologies. Okay. I want to have this on here. I'm going to have it here. Why? Because I just do not want to. Yeah. Well, I just want to put it here. I don't want to cover up the lovely uh, stamps. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I am going to go through this with my pokey tool. I'm going to try it. If not, I need to take out my crocodile. There you go. But first, I need to mark it. One here. One here. Okay, pokey tool. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm gonna twist it. Twist it. Twi oh, we're already there. We're already there. No need for my crocodile. Unless you're gonna do something with eyelets. Which I'm not. I'm also not gonna use... These come with screws, guys. Uh, also not gonna use the screws. Be careful for your fingers. Yeah. Okay, brats. I don't need. Uh, I don't need the corners. No. That's for another project. There you go. Um, opening on the top. Yes, thank you. Now, hopefully, these will go through here. Before I do this, I'm going to turn them first. Yeah. Because they need to flip this way and not this way. Smart. Smart me. Very smart me. Yeah. 
needs to be bigger. <laughs> yes, there we go. Here's one. That went in way easier. I'm going to cover this up, guys, with another layer of black cardstock and, of course, with these. So you won't be able to see them anymore. It is just amazing. And then this goes in here. Love it. I am so proud of me. I really like it. Needs a bit more glue here, maybe? Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. Um, I don't need to cover these up because I'm going to cover it up with um, the heavier cardstock. So not the paper, but the heavier cardstock. I think that'll work way better. Now, until the next adventure, because um, now we need to glue this in. And I need to make a decision. Do we want pockets or do we not want pockets? Guys, I decided against the pocket. It's just maybe taking off more than I can handle. So I'm, I'm just going to glue them. Yeah. I'm just going to use glue stick uh, for this. Hello, glue stick. Where you are? Yeah. Yeah. See? Gluing these down. So no glue on the inside. Just glue on the outside. And this one as well. And there you go. I have no clue how long this video is, guys. It could be two hours. <laughs> because I've been working at this for... Oof. Four, four and a half hours <laughs> but I don't know how much of this is actually filmed but I really want to finish it it's not going to be a three-parter okay there we go yes and the last one don't put glue on the outside, love. Don't put glue on the outside. There you go. Yuck. Now I actually need to let this dry. I'm going to put it under a nice pile of books. Heavy books. Yeah. To let it dry. Yeah. And uh, I'll be back when it's sort of more... F oh, wow, that, that worked fabulously. Be sure the papers are not stuck together. See, there's a little bit of glue seeping out. There you go. So I'm going to let this dry, guys. Oh yeah, that's much more manageable as well to glue them in. And then we're going to glue this in. I think it's sort of dry enough. Now this is going to be tricky, guys. What did I do wrong? I probably should have put some paper here or fold this over. I didn't. Um, so what did I do? I cheated. I just took out my black sort of fine liner and I colored it black on the top and on the bottom because you will see a little bit of the blue. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So this needs to be glued here and this needs to be glued there. Yeah? Does it make any sense? I'm going to do one at a time, of course. Uh, I am taking out... Are you? Because you maybe need to wiggle it about. No, I'm taking a part for this. Have it the right side up. Please have it the right side up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the front first. I think it's better to do the front first. I'm going to do the front first. Now, we need to line it up. We need to line it up. Here and here, yeah, so there's equal parts there, and have it 
on that piece of spine. Is it is it going well? Be a little bit closer to this edge. Ooh, glue, glue seeping out, but that's okay. I'd in this case, I'd rather have too much glue than not enough glue. Art, do you think? Please try. Yes. See, and now we need to put glue here and glue it here. Not here, here. Guys, I think you're all keeping your fingers crossed because everything so far is sort of working. Sort of working out. Here we go. Let's see. Is it on the right spot? Yes, yes, it is, it is. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Is it? So we're moving it about. Tada. Is it perfect? No, it's not. And it's not finished yet. See, guys? See? <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Now, we need to um, cover this one and cover this one. Yes. I'm going to use uh, black cardstock or just a black paper. Let's see what I have left. Yeah. And then this. So I'm going to cut some pieces to size, not all the way to the edge, lovies. Leave uh, like one sixteenth of an inch. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to cut these. Okay, I cut out two pieces for the front and for the back. It's again the tiniest bit smaller than the inside. Yeah? To cover everything. Also this bit. And of course this one. So I'm just putting glue on. Now this will be a little bit tricky because there's these here. So I might add a little bit of glue. I don't know if this will make any sense, but just adding a little bit of glue just in case. Putting all the glue on. Especially on the edges, yes. There we go. It's not sticking out. Is it sticking out? Don't stick out. Do not want this to stick out. Okay, glue spreader. Now hoping this will work. I cannot do it any other way than this way, guys. Bit of glue here. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And then we're gonna glue this on top of it. Also ink these pieces. I did not ink these ones. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have, I don't know. Um, but I did ink the, the cover parts on the front back and on the insides yes blue spreader I'm a little bit afraid this will at one point curl up a bit
because it's just just glued on the edge but it'll be fine perfect yes repeat on the back already did already did guys i think we're done i think we're done let's have a look at it i am sort of really really proud of me um would I change a couple of things? Yes, yes, I would. But that always happens when I do a project that I've never done before. Just inside my head. <laughs> and then I try it out. And there are a couple of things that I will do differently if I'm ever going to make another one. Which I probably will because it is absolutely gorgeous. It is. Yes, this used to be a, a lovely Peter Rabbit book. And now it's a poster stamp al album. Or, or what have you. Lovely spine, yes, with the florals. Really cool. And you open it up. And then you have all these. Yeah. What will you use them for? Well, postage stamps, guys. I love this. It is the exact same as this. See? Like this sort of thicker, heavier pages. That's what I wanted. Not just, you know, just your, not something that is sewn in. Now, what would I do differently? Um, I would either flip the fabric over it to the inside so that you won't see the blue part here or just put something else uh, on the inside so you will cover this up yes that was what i would different do differently also i would do a better job of lining these up yeah that's that's a shame that's a shame i just didn't take that into consideration but that's okay because still love it i love the glass scene you see everything through it yeah really really cool so those are the only two things that i would sort of change change now what would you use them for postage stamps guys postage stamps now because this is very sort of fragile uh if you if you did it with vellum go ahead do, do it with your fingers but uh if you did it with with glassine like i did use your use tweezers guys use tweezers to put your uh sort of postage stamps in and and taking them out see like so I have a prettier one. That's not a pretty one. That's not a pretty one at all. That's a pretty one. See? There you go. Fill it with your poster stamp. Or with lovely labels. Take them out with your, with your tweezers, love. Or with lovely labels or stickers. Or just, just look at it. We could put a pocket here. Yes, if we want to. We could put a pocket here. And in the back as well. Now, what if you don't have any poster stamps? Well, buy this one because I did some stamping, guys, with colors. Look at those. Love them. I just absolutely love them. Now, apparently, I had some comments saying uh, Tim Holtz has a die that actually is this size so that you could also cut them out. I might even have that one. Was it in, in a chapter three? I don't know. I'm going to have a. I'm going to investigate. Otherwise, you know, use your scissors because this is not rocket science. Use your scissors. Just stamp, stamp, stamp your little heart out and, and put them all in here. Great. Great. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for enjoying this probably long video. I have no clue. I have no clue. Um, hoping you enjoyed it. It's the weekend. If it is too long, you have another day to sort of split it up and watch it as a two-parter. I will be back. I will probably be back again this Sunday with a Happy Mail review. I think so. I think I will receive a Happy Mail this weekend from a lovely friend of mine. So I will um, show you this on a Sunday. And otherwise, uh, I'll be back again on Monday with another project. No clue what. Um, not as big as a project as this one is. Let's do something simple Monday, yeah? Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Uh, and I'm, hope ho I'm hoping to see you Sunday or Monday. Until then, bye.